Folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this is uh, problem solving using uh, multi step fractions. So, our common core is going to be we're going to use our prior knowledge, continue to use that on operations of whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. And so, here we're going to um, how can we solve uh, multi step problems by using our strategy acting it out? That's what this uh, book is calling this the acting it out strategy. So, this is uh, lesson um, 710 in the book I'm following. So, let's access some prior knowledge. Of, uh, starting with 3, what are the next 6 multiples of 3? Okay, so and then explain how you found the answer. Okay, well 3, uh, and, then, and then the next multiple of 3 is 6, and then plus 3 is 9, plus 3, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is uh, 18, and just keep adding 3. Or you can do um, uh, 2 times 3, 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 5 times 3, this is 6 times 3, and 7 times 3. So there's the next uh, 6 multiples of 3. And do the same thing with 4. Uh, what are the, sec the next uh, 6 multiples of 4? So I'm going to go 2 times 4, 3 times 4, uh, 4 times 4, and so on. So there they are, uh, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Okay? All right, let's try one of these here. So here we have uh, at the Shelter Cove Camp Store, uh, trail mix is sold in 3 quarter pound bags. Juanita will buy some bags of trail mix and repackage them into one pound bags. What is the least number of three pound bags Juanita could buy if she wants to fill each bag without any leftovers? All right, I, I got somebody that emailed me um, a couple of days ago and they said, how can they uh, get better at tackling some of these word problems? And, I, and one of the strategies I found is to get like a card, a 3 by 5 card or a student identification card or something, something to cover up this, so uh, to cover up the problem. And, and then, so I, I'm going to just make a big rectangle right here. Okay, so pretend like you have a 3 by 5 card. And you're just covering up the problem right there. And then what you can do is just slide it down one sentence at a time and see what it says okay so let's just slide it down right here so it says at the shelter cove camp store trail mix is sold in three quarter pounds bags okay so just imagine each bag that is being bought is in three quarters of pounds okay so let's keep going Juanita will buy some bags of trail mix and repackage them into one pound bags okay so she's gonna take these three quarter pound bags and she's gonna fill them into the one pound bags so what's the least number of three quarter pound bags uh, is she going to have to buy if she wants to fill uh, each of the, uh, the one pound bags without any leftovers, okay? So we're going to buy as many as these as we need to of the three quarter pound bags to fill up the one pound bags uh, without having any leftovers on that, okay? So let's see. So um, uh, what do we need to find out? We need to find out how many three quarter pound bags of trail mix uh, Juanita needs to make uh, the one pound bags of trail mix okay so there won't be any leftovers any leftovers okay so what information do we need to use the bag she will buy will contain uh, three-fourths of a pound of trail mix and she's going to replace uh, the trail mix and put them into the one pound bags okay so uh, how will we use this information uh, we'll use uh, I'm going to use fraction rectangles too okay now remember this uh, this lesson is acting it out so they would like you to fill in uh, the acting it out the problem okay so we're going to act out the problem okay all right so describe how to act it out so we're going to use fraction rectangles I think your book uses fraction circles on, on a lesson that's similar to this all right, so here's a here's a fraction uh, rectangle right here, um, and I it, this says three out of the four, so here's three fourths of the fraction rectangle, and so does it fill in this one pound bag? No, it doesn't fill in this one pound bag because there's still space left over right there. Okay, so let's get another three fourths uh, bag right here. Okay, so two of the three fourths bags, if I put two of them together, that'll fill one of the one pound bags right here. But I'll have some left over because see here's one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourth, five fourth, six fourth right there. So it'll fill four fourths of one bag, which is a whole bag. But then there'll be some left over in this other bag. There's going to be two fourths left over in this other bag right here. Okay, you guys see that? So what if we had three three fourths bags of trail mix? Would that fill uh, a one pound bag with no leftovers? Okay, so. Um, so let's see. So if I filled up three of them, you guys, here's one three-fourths bag, another three-fourths bag, another three-fourths bag. 
Okay, and remember from our prior lessons, 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, we just add 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 fourths. Okay, and if I put those into some one pound bags, it'll fill up two of them all the way. Okay, here's 8 fourths right here. Uh, but there's still going to be uh, this one-fourth left in this other bag, so I need to do this again, okay? So this, uh, this will make, uh, um, it'll make two of the one-pound bags with the, the one-quarter pound uh, left over over here. All right, now, if I did one more three-fourths, can you see one more three-fourths would fill up this bag just nice and perfectly right there? So if I did uh, four three-fourths bags, then we'd get 12-fourths. Okay, and 12 fourths uh, would make three one pound bags finally with nothing left over. Okay, so let's answer the question. So Juanita uh, could buy, how many could she buy? She could buy four of the three fourths pound bags of trail mix and fill up all the one pound bags and none of the one pound bags would have anything left over. Okay, so we have to find out how many three-fourths would finally fill up the other one-pound bag. So we just had to keep adding three-fourths and three-fourths and three-fourths, okay? Let's try another one here, you guys. All right, so at the end of the party, Mrs. Peralta had several dishes of pie, each with two sixth pieces of pie left on them. Okay, so she was able to combine these pieces to make two whole pies with no leftovers. So how many dishes did she combine? Okay, all right. Well, let's let's do that. Um, let's do that rectangle again. So if you have like a three by five card, you know, and you're reading these word problems and they seem kind of a struggle, just cover them up, and we'll just see we'll just see what we have here. Okay, we'll just pull it down one one sentence at a time. So at the end of the party, Mrs. Peralta had several uh, dishes of pie, each that had two six uh, of pieces of pie on it. Okay. So imagine you have this pan right here, and there's two pieces of the pie on it, two six-size pieces of it, okay? So, so she has all kinds of them with two six-size pieces. She has a pie here with two pieces, a pie here with two pieces, a, a pie here with two pieces, okay? And so it says she was able to combine all these pieces and made two whole pies that had no leftovers. So how many of those dishes had two of the six-size pieces on it, okay? All right, so what do we need to find out? We need to find out uh, how many two-sixth uh, pieces of a pie Miss Peralta combined to make two whole pizzas, that had, or pieces, two whole pies, sorry, uh, with no leftovers. Okay, so what information do we need to use? Uh, well, each dish has two-sixths of a pie. Mrs. Peralta was able to combine the two-sixth pieces to make two whole pies with no leftovers. Okay, so how are we going to use this information? I'm going to use uh, fraction circles this time to to act out this problem, okay? This uh, this lesson is called acting it out, a problem solving strategy strategy of acting it out, okay? So here we go. How are we going to describe to act it out, okay? Well, if we did uh, one dish, one dish would only get me, uh, it won't get me a hole right here, okay? So I'm going to do two dishes right here, okay? Two dishes gets me, uh, when I put these, these two pieces of pie on this guy right here, then it gets me this, but I still have two more empty spaces right here. So to get a full pie, I'm going to have to do three dishes right here. So if a full pie is going to be three dishes will get me six over six, which is one whole pie. Okay, now the question is asking she she's going to make two whole pies. Well, if, if three of those dishes gave me one whole pie, can I convince you that another three dishes will get me another whole pie? Okay, so how many dishes did it make to get two whole pies on that? So Mrs. Peralta combined six dishes to get uh, to make two whole pies on that. All right. Okay, you guys, take care.